Are you rolling? <laughs> I'm sitting here at all. Where, by the way, where are we? Is there any indicator as to where we're at? Looks like we're lost. Looks all right, like we're in, so what's uh, going on? Mantino for their annual cruise night, which yeah, happens every other the... Tuesday during the summertime. All right, and uh, they're already starting to roll fall. in. So uh, how'd yeah. you find out about this? Uh, we'll announce that later on. But okay. Why don't we take a look around, see what they got going on, and uh, find some good food too? Sounds like a plan. And in case you're wondering, you see these shirts. He this is, is AC variety. <laughs> He's the Clem, and I'm you're, Jimmy. And you're hanging with Clem in Mantino, Illinois, for their cruise night. 2024. walking through of course red cars catch your eye anyhow but this one is really special matter of fact I'm even looking at the dashboard it reminds me it almost looks like a miniature 56 Ford dashboard but we're gonna find out more about it first of all your name sir uh, Ken Doring Ken we know this is a Cortina and known yeah. as an English Ford no correct me okay first correction go for it I'm gonna let you tell the story because this is an awesome car how long have you had it uh, 30 years okay uh, it's, it's a council okay how do you spell that? Council. C-O-N-S-U-L. Okay, that's an, I'm, I'm still on the learning curve for these English Fords, but um, how did you get to acquire this vehicle? Um, I've been, been in the English Ford since 1971. I've owned 29 of them. Oh my god. And uh, most of them were the smaller versions and the cheaper versions, but this one caught my eye. Uh, this one they built from 56 to 62, and the reason I purchased the car is that it has a three position convertible top it can be down up or halfway and uh so i found the, it's really a really a rare car i went to salt lake city utah to bring this car back on a tow dolly in wow. 1993 there's a basket case <clears throat> uh, no motor in it no top no seat throw up rip i mean it was totally no good and it took me 10 years to restore it i finished it in 03 and i've been driving it ever since wow this talk about this is a work of art on wheels only um, first of all, uh, was this color red available? Right, this is this, this original color. Okay, okay. And, and the convertible top is gray. Okay. Now you mentioned three position. I don't expect you to play with it in front of me, mm -hmm. but uh, is that safe positions while the car is in motion? You yeah, can have it in? I'll show you a picture of it up here. Okay, you sounds good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's see. What do you have, like showroom literature type thing here? Okay. Oh, excellent. Oh my God, it's almost like a, it's almost like a, a limo coupe. Right. Okay. And it, it was designed that way from the factory to be in three positions. In the English, with, with their language, they call it the Smart Deville position. Okay. And uh, it can be down, up, or halfway, and it won't blow down in that position. Okay. Um, how did you, of course, when you did your restoration, mm -hmm. how did you come across that engine and how did you get it to well, where I it is? Well, I bought a few parts cars, but all the parts cars are four door sedans. It didn't okay. Get, they didn't make any convertibles at the factory. Uh, when this car was new, it was a four-door sedan, All right. and uh, Ford said we need a convertible. So they shipped the car, which is a brand new four-door, to the car buddies of Coventry in, in England who build the London taxis. The first thing they did is they strengthened the, the floor. Okay, yeah. Then they took a saw, and you noticed right here, they cut it all the way across. Yeah, I see right on the on the roof. Yeah, they cut okay. it all the way across here. Then okay. they. Yeah. Then they made two new doors and two new quarter panels. Okay. And um, they had a convertible. And then over here, under the hood, it, it's the plate. It says Car Bodies of Coventry, the serial yeah. number when okay, it was serial number when it was made, and all the instructions how to put the top down in the three positions. Wow. The the authenticity is beyond reproach here. Um, I got to ask, with, you mentioned they beefed up, naturally you take the roof off so there's some structure right, going. Right, right. They beefed up the chassis, but I'm, uh, let's, uh, let's walk on back on this side again. It doesn't have a frame, it's unibody. Okay, that's my, that was going to be my next question. Right. And the other thing is when you're driving, is there any like flexibility, you know, a little bit between this area of the car and this area of the car? Um, not that I know of, but I, when, when extra heavy people sit in the front, sometimes the door is kind of hard to shut, so it, okay. it, it does flex yeah, again, up. it's, you know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the other thing I'm blown away with is uh, the, the leg room back and front, the way yeah, the design well, was. I haul um, couples in the back seat, has plenty of leg room. We haul them around for ice cream and stuff. The trunk, sure, trunk sure. you can put plenty of suitcases in it. 
And yet it's a small car. Yeah. So. Uh, again, some of the appointments on it, it's not it's not overdone with stainless and chrome. It's just enough, mm -hmm. you know. Right. The other thing I always like about English cars too, and I, even even on the old British Leyland sports cars, a lot of them have exterior. Yeah. The hinges for the trunk are exterior. Right. You know? Well, the reason these are on the trunk is because if you put them on the inside, there would be no room for the convertible top. Okay. Okay. And so, some American Fords are that way too. They, because there's no room for the top to, to go in the hole, okay. so you put them out there. Okay. Let me just take a look in the back before I walk away here real fast. The, uh, people have been telling me that taillights are similar to a 52 Mercury. Yes. And they're a little bit longer, but the design. You're absolutely is, right on the that. The speedometer is like a 56 Thunderbird or a 56 yes. Ford. Yes. And then the grill, it, the grill looks like a 56 Thunderbird along with the headlight rims and the turn signals. Absolutely. You, no. got, you got it down by comparison. No. Perfect. Yes. Oh, wow. Beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, God, I don't know what to say. You left me speechless <laughs> on this one, but... Uh, uh, well, there's probably less than 10 in the United States. That's that, how, how rare it is. Okay. Now, is there any kind of professional organization you belong to? Um, that, well, uh, there's a club on the internet that um, for English Fords, and in England, you know, there's a club over there. I was a member of there. I'm not now, but... Okay. Um, I have all, all the books at home on it, you know, the brochures and all this stuff and little toy cars and everything, so I've been, you Okay. Know, so. You know, I, I, didn't, I didn't glance in at the battery. Is this a 12 volt? It's a 12 volt positive ground. Oh, great. Okay. So this is okay. original motor. It's a 1.7. Okay. Um, and of course, this is an oil bath air cleaner. Original, right. original carburetor. Okay. Um, these, these mirrors are original. Okay. So. Wow. I'm, I'm at odd. Uh, at this point, I'm, I'm going to grab a hand. Dude. <laughs> okay. Thanks. Best of luck. And just, I know you enjoy this car, but this is, this is just a standout. It's, Thanks. You know, yeah, I drive it all over. I drive it on car tours every year. Okay. For, for like you know, you know, several couple hundred miles each way, and then drive it for a whole week with other cars, and you know, it's a lot of fun. Okay. So. All right. Thanks again for stepping up. I didn't mean to pull you away from your friends no back problem. there, but well, thanks. Uh, it was Take a care. great story. God bless. Take well, care, okay. man. Okay, I'm kind of partial to Chevrolets and Stingrays are really, really hot, especially this generation. I'm going to find out a little bit more about it. And your name, sir? Daryl Brook. Daryl, uh, your car caught my eye. I was talking to your friend next door here, and then I thought, wow, I, I've got to look at more at this thing. First of all, how long have you had this been? Twelve years. Okay. I had it, bought it in 2012. Now, was this a Midwestern car? or? Uh, it came out of Stevens Point, Wisconsin. Wow, North Yes. Yeah. Okay. And uh, my friend was at a car show. Uh, and it was there for sale in the car corral, and uh, he calls me, called me up and said, you know, this is a nice car, you need to call yeah. the owner. And it turned out it was a dentist in Stephen Point, Wisconsin that owned it, and he had purchased it in 2006 uh, at a uh, Bloomington Gold Corvette auction in St. Charles, Illinois, okay. when Meekum was doing them, when they okay. used to do them. That's the real deal. And, uh, and uh, I... Talked to the doctor and ended up purchasing it. Okay, it's gorgeous. Uh, what was the mileage when you found it? Well, that's unknown because the dentist uh, replaced the odometer and okay. speedometer because the speedometer doesn't working wasn't working, and he doesn't remember what the mileage was on the other one. I don't think he realized the importance that that may have been uh, a document. Does, yes. Do you have, uh, I'm going to jump around with stuff because this is such an exciting model. First of all, I've always loved that color interior. Yes. And then that cut, coupled with this color body is yes. just killer. And it has a white convertible top, I was which really sets gonna, it off. Too. I was just going to say, now was there a hard top option? That you uh, there was a hard top option that went that uh, fastens down the same way as the convertible top. Okay. Which I, uh, not all of these convertibles were ordered with those tops and I don't believe this one ever was okay so and since it's only driven uh, in, in nice days uh, sure. I don't really need the hard time. no you don't and I and I, I get you on that now it's a high performance small block what is it about three and a quarter horse it, no two 270 it's the standard 350 that came with those okay it's not the optional one with 
there were several other options yeah. for more horsepower. Then again, in 71, they started to detune these That's babies correct. too. I mean, yes. you know, unfortunately. Yes, yeah, 70 was the peak of that of the muscle Okay, were you, were you able to get a, 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 like a turbo 350 or 400 trans, or is there something else in there? Uh, no, no, it's the original trans, and okay. it's, uh, it's a turbo 400. Okay. I believe that was standard. Super heavy duty. Okay. And um, it has uh, factory air, power steering brakes, tilt telescopic wheel. Uh, it does not have the original AM FM radio, but I installed a Bluetooth radio myself. Okay. And, um, um, Rally wheels. Yeah, I love course. the deep dish rally wheels. They yes, were so that, special back then. You know, let's look at the back end once. I just wanted to see uh, the taillight setup and is there backup lights? Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. Yes. Yeah. I didn't know if I would. For decades, the Corvette was round taillights until the C7s, which started in 2013 when they went to the right. more rectangular taillights. And uh, there was a lot of controversy. Some of the Corvette traditionalist was kind of upset with that. Mm -hmm. And of course the C8 also has the rectangular okay, taillights, right. but I'm partial to the round ones. Uh, I have to agree with you, I'm partial to the round ones too. Uh, again, uh, cars exquisite all the way through, the chrome and everything else, the, the rack. Uh, I want to thank you, first of all, I, again, for, I know I got you out of the, out, in okay. the sun, out of the shade, sure. but I just wanted to talk to you about the car, I'm going to grab a hand. Yeah, thank dude. you. Appreciate thank it you. so much, and enjoy it every time you bring oh, this car I up. Do. I do. Alright, take care. Thank you. Okay, one of the things I'm blown away with all the vets that are at this show, late model and uh, various various uh, vintages of vets. Uh, I mean, I haven't seen a 53 yet, but we'll, we're looking around. But right now, camera is on this beautiful red. At, what year is this, sir? 2020 Corvette. 2020. I, Stingray. I, Stingray, okay. I am here with your name, sir? Hank Roos. And? Barbara. Barbara and Hank. Off camera, you both told me this marvelous story if you could just lay it on again because I, I was sitting here in disbelief a jaw dropper on where and how this vet came to be go for it buddy we won two Corvettes the 2020 in a 62 Corvette with a $50 raffle ticket to uh, dreamgiveaway.com okay and they called you up when you won and um, I was surprised <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> yes, yes. So it was. Um, we asked if it was a scam because we forgot we had the tickets. We asked yeah, if it was sure. a scam and, and they uh, said, no, no, look on YouTube. We can see us drawing your name. Wow. So the rest is history. They sent us all the paperwork in a very timely manner and we had it shipped up here. We had to pay for the shipping. No, okay. Normally they fly the winter down there, but because of COVID they weren't doing yeah, that. Yeah, because it was that period of time, you know. But I'm I'm glad at least you could take delivery on it during that period of time. Yeah. Now I was yeah. particularly impressed with the quality of the delivery and when it was delivered and it was snow on the ground up here and yes, it, and the, they, the almost white gloves treatment here. Yes, the yes they delivered it in an enclosed semi. You could eat off the floors. It was so clean. It, they were all covered up and everything. And they backed the truck up to my nephew's shop, put the ramps down in the shop, and it took them right off wow. the truck, right in the shop. Now, we, we also spoke off camera. Of, you ended up selling the 62. You don't have to mention the price, but kind of describe what that car was like and why you put it up for sale. The 62 Corvette was a beautiful car. It was the best uh, rest of mod in the country matched up with this 2020 Corvette. Okay. And it was a, it rode like a hard muscle car. The seats were uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. uh, it bounced a lot. And so we decided to put it up for sale. We didn't want to keep it. And I have a friend that does restoration and he okay. put it on uh, bringatrailer.com and he ended up selling it for me. Okay, okay. The guys were fighting over it. I, yeah, understandably so. One last question for you. What's it feel like when you're cruising in that car? A dream. Really? Yeah. Their license plate says Dream Car 1. Yeah. Okay. I didn't, I didn't get to the back end. I'm waiting for Dream Car 2. Okay. okay. Did you hear that? He's waiting for Dream Car 2. She, 
She goes <laughs> out with her girlfriends for lunch. They want to go fast. She gets on her back rolling. She's had it up to about 115. Okay. Really? We, we both we, raced when we were young. I was just going to say, I, so I, I, I sense a little in the blood here. We yeah. used to drag race, so I wasn't afraid to hit it. Okay. Yeah, and, and, and you can handle it, too. Yes. Which is... And it handles nicely. Beautifully. Beautifully. Yeah. Back in the day, uh, last question, uh, when you guys used to run, do a little drag racing, what what was the track of choice? It was at Route 30. Okay. Been there myself back yeah, years ago. Yeah, Route in, 30, in, uh, uh, Oswego. Yes. Both yeah. closed now. Yeah. There was one other one, Barb. I forget what it was. Well, you, Union Grove in Wisconsin is still Oh, open. yeah. 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 Uh, do you recall any other ones? Or? No, I know US 41 is still open too, right? Yeah, we've never been there. N neither have I, but I, I have a neighbor that that uh, goes there. but. Uh, Anyhow, no, just wanted to just wanted to share, you know, where, where you guys said. Sure. Listen, I'm gonna grab a hand. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank it you. was an enlightening story. <laughs> and this this is sort of what the car culture is all about. And you take you guys take it to the next level, <laughs> let me tell you. <laughs> so anyhow, enjoy I know you do, but enjoy every time you bring this yep. this I'll, stingray out. I'll tell you a little Thank fast you. story about Go for it, yeah. I taught her how to catch all the yellow lights and pop the clutch on in the green and you won't disqualify. Okay. Okay, I've seen some bad boy Shelby's before, but this one really caught my eye. And when I saw that vanity plate, I knew I had to know more about the snake bite. We got the owner right here. And your name, sir? Uh, Gary McHugh. Gary, uh, how long have you had this awesome car? Uh, we bought the car in bad shape um, probably 20, it's been about 24 years ago. Wow, okay. It, it took 20 years to complete it due to family, you know. Yeah. Just family come first, four kids. Oh, God, yeah. I you know, got so we put those kids in front of everything and finally got it out, um, completed. Um, completed in a basically a two two car garage. Wow. Painted in a two car garage. Wow. I'm Okay, when you picked it up 20 plus years ago, uh, was it a Midwestern car? Or was it? Um, I don't know its original origin and where it came from. Okay. Um, I bought out of Kankakee, Illinois, and okay. I, I live in Bourbon A. Okay, but that's, so, yeah, that's yeah. local home there. Yeah. You know. So I found it on in the newspaper back then, and went and looked at it and bought it outside. An on authentic street. Shelby. It's not a Shelby. It's a it's a replica. So it's like a clone Shelby. Yes. Okay. You know what? You could have fooled me when I approached up on this car from every body line, the tail lights, the hood, the badging. It's like you really the wheels. <laughs> everything is spot on. Well, we wanted to pay homage to you know Shelby. Oh, um, absolutely, yeah. And we we took a lot of liberties with this vehicle that we okay. wouldn't have took if it was a real Shelby. Yeah. So if you look at the paint on it, all the, the emblems are airbrushed on. Those are not stickers. Okay. The snake on the they side. They haven't looked that close yet, but go ahead. And the snake and everything, the lettering on the back. Uh, Dave Frechet out of Tinley Park, which he now resides in California. Okay. Name he, sounds familiar, too. He did all, he's done a lot of cars. Yeah. So he did all the artwork for me. He's a good friend of mine. The the bullet uh, light, uh, excuse me, uh, mirrors on yes. the doors. Uh, where did you find those, and what vintage are those? Those are a racing mirror. It was not um, factory for okay. this. They used them on race cars, uh, and I just like the style of them. Okay, now this is authentic, though, uh, a Ford 427 big block? It's a 351 crate motor, which is a 427 stroked. Right, gotcha. So yes, Let's, yes no, and no. I'm going to walk up there for a minute. I just want to... Yeah, I like uh, the shock perches and your extra... The cross braces, yeah. The cross braces. Yeah. Uh, uh, what? Uh, with that air cleaner, I thought she had dual carbs on there. For no, a it actually has a Holley Sniper uh, fuel injection. Wow, boy, you just every every question you're just blowing me away with the the hidden the hidden gems on this thing. Uh, tranny. It's an AOD built AOD. Okay, and then um, like a Ford nine inch rear end type. Ford thing? nine inch, yep. Thirty one spline axles, four eleven gear. Um, wow. Okay, that's got to throw you in the seat a little bit. It, it, it does okay. The AOD is a little luggish when it first takes off. Okay. Which is fine, so you're not spinning the car around circles. Okay. But once it gets, you know, once you once you hit second gear, it, it will roast the tire in second gear. Yeah, I bet. I so. bet. Um, now, during a regular season, do you make a lot of events with this? Or? I prefer to do the cruise nights. I, I go to a few car shows. Okay. Um, it's, it's showed well at car shows. I bet. Um, yeah. But, you know, that's... I, I prefer the cruise nights just because you get in and you can get out without having to sit around all day and you know right uh, the sit around all day the car shows and then you, you're uh, put in a put in a class and you're judged yeah and you're right you sit around all day for yeah. the trophy call and it's it's nice to get the recognition for the trophy but 
you know, that's not, it's more, I like to see the people's responses. Sure. You know, I mean, you can have the most expensive car there and people just don't look at it the same way that somebody else does. Yeah. So, Good point. that being said, you know, when I first got out, the, you know, the first show, it won Best of Show, the trophy was huge. It was nice to have. Yeah. Um, but it, that's not what it's about. It's just about meeting people, the camaraderie with everybody you get to meet um, and seeing what they've built, you know. And oh, absolutely. So. All right, at this point, I'm going to grab a hand. Thank you so nice much for stepping you. up. I, I pulled him away from the shade tree over here. But, that's okay. But it was worth the story. Is, it's golden. I just love it. And uh, yeah. this car is awesome. It was the, a long bill, but it was worth, in my opinion, worth all your efforts. I don't have 20 years of work into it. It just took 20 years yeah, of work. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. right. But I mean, if you look at a couple back. of things, I don't know if you want to keep going or not, but hey, all the doors were edge welded and tonight, hand filed, so, so this fits way better than okay. any Mustang. Uh, here the side of the rockers all the way back, uh, we removed the pinch welds. Sammy's if you look, it's rolled under. Okay, so no, I didn't see that. That's a little detail I didn't even go for, but. He's a little bit of an extra touch. Uh, a good friend of mine, Dave Potter, he's the one that actually sprayed it and did the final body work. And we did it in my parents' garage. Your first time here. Well, that's the pot, the, when he told me that before too. I'm thinking, uh, 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 you're not you're not in a spray booth somewhere. You know what I mean? And it's like, uh, or a welding shop. You know, it's nope. like, wow, body shop. I actually bought a welder to do this car to learn how to do it. I've never done a car before. This is my first one. Wow, See, you're blowing me away with every sentence now. Anyhow, I. I shook hands and I said bye, but we could, folks, we could talk another hour here. This is di dynamic, but thank you. Uh, hope to see you again. Okay, everybody, come out to this show. It's awesome. Every second yeah, Tuesday. Uh, when is it? Is it first, again? first Tuesday of the month. What is it? The first Tuesday of the month. First and third, or first? Uh, I, I can't remember to tell okay. you the truth. I usually don't make. Check it, the local listings, and we'll we'll have it out there. Yeah. Okay. Thanks nice, again, nice man. Meeting you. One of the awesome things about a car show like this, especially out of Piatone, is you get to see all kind of vehicles, especially trucks, and especially, I always got a soft spot for some HI International Harvester stuff that is in really, really good shape. Caught up with the owner and your name. Alan Buckley. Alan, how long have you had this? Uh, I've had it six years and three years to rebuild it. So. Okay. Um, I noticed, if we can walk around this side, uh, First of all, the woodwork on the bed, nice touch, yep. the stake bed, nice work. It, it was a grain truck originally. Okay. And uh, I have it as a grain truck, but this shows uh, much better than uh, the grain truck did, so I like it. Okay. I leave it this way. Uh, and the year again? 1950. It's okay, a L sure. L130, which is a, considered a one ton. Okay. And I was always the split window in the back always intrigued me too. With uh, not a real good design because when you look in the mirror, you see the center <laughs> column. <laughs> yeah. Anyhow, but if we walk along the side, I noticed the, uh, your your truck ID information on the door. Is that authentic to that one of the previous my, owners? My, no, my dad had same series, same year, okay. but it was a uh, 160, a two and a half ton grain truck, and that's. That's how his photo was labeled that we have of his grain truck. So, uh, that is, and that's the, that's the old party line phone number. If you, yeah, oh, <laughs> boy, party line, you know, yeah. you say to a millennial now or even a Gen X right. party line, they don't know what the heck no, you're talking yeah. about. <laughs> <laughs> so, but it's it's original engine, transmission, okay. rear end. Uh, I converted it to uh, 12 volt and put an alternator in it. But Good move. Otherwise, it's it's original equipment. Okay, uh, what's in this box that, down well, here? It's a hydraulic dump, and the okay. old one was underneath the hood. Okay. And I j it took up too much space. I didn't like it, so I just put the box and that it's got a, nice a battery-operated it, it, it uh, dump in there. Actually, looks aesthetically. Yeah. Right. You know. So. Uh, and I went to great effort to to make the dump work, but I've never used it, so <laughs> I'm not sure I'd, I'd do that again. But. <laughs> it, it's there. It's yeah. functional. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Uh, let me just walk to the front sure. once. I want to check out the. I love these original like Those, body lights and that stuff. That was all original. Wow. Uh, luckily, I mean, all these items, these badges yeah, the badging that, and stuff? that all came on it, and I'm fortunate because guys will spend quite a bit of money just for these little trinkets. So, how did how did it look underneath? I mean, was it? It, it was rotted. Uh, yeah, that's a spot. That's a spot panel. there. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. 
How I mean, about that gas tank? How did that that's, go? Well, it's original. I, I had seven-year-old fuel in it when I got the truck. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so I emptied it out and I cleaned it and I uh, put a sealer inside. And, uh, Good move. It, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. It's a little 15-gallon tank, so I don't go far and I don't go fast. So. Okay. Uh, window mechanisms and that was That was all there. Okay. Uh, all the liners and everything I replaced. Uh, okay. All the rubber around that. But, uh, yeah, it was a learning experience. Uh, thank it, God it just, for YouTube and Facebook and all that. Cause <laughs> I wouldn't have known how to do any of it. I always liked the way this opened up. The hood, yeah, will open left or right, and then with two guys you can take the whole hood off Didn't know with, without a wrench. Didn't yeah. know that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, is this all new? Or? That well, the wiring's new, but this fuse block, everything that was there. Uh, but I just upgraded the wiring and. Uh, Oh, yeah. The other stuff was uh, cloth wiring. It was so brittle. It just it was uh, yeah. a fire waiting to happen. So yeah, rated about 96 horsepower. So okay, yeah, 50, straight 50, 60 mile an hour okay. is about about its limit. Okay. How that one barrel work out? For well, you I, had, I rebuild it because it had, like I said, seven year old fuel in it. But uh, uh, yeah. uh, actually, it, it's I put an electric fuel pump because the mechanical pump went bad. And I think that, well, that the, makes the inline it, filter is a good idea. Yeah, I think right the there. electric fuel pump makes it start easier, and I, I don't have vapor lock issue or anything like that. So. Now this looks well sort of original to me. I it, don't know. Uh, no, it's an aluminum. Really, we well, got painted flat black. Yeah, it was it was too shiny. It was too shiny. That cap I had on to. There. It looked <laughs> old school, you know. And uh, but the other one had been repaired twice, and it was still leaking. So I just yeah, okay. I just yeah, went yeah. that way. But, uh, the other now is uh, this is in remarkably good shape, with no. It, it is. There are there were three uh, mustache across here, and they were they were so beat up. I have them in my garage, but they're just so beat up, and I decided we just filled in the holes and uh, covered them up. But now, is this a changed badge? It's it's the original badge. Oh, really? But okay, I don't know why. It I was all it was whatever was behind it faded so bad. So I I repainted this portion of it, Got but it but it is the original. I don't know badge. why I thought it, it had like what's on your mud flaps. Yeah. H, no, you know, no, it had H, the, you know, the, because the engine was called the Silver Diamond. Then they had the black diamond and the blue diamond. Gotcha. So I don't gotcha. know if that's, that's probably that's the distinction. Yeah. I, it could be. I don't know. But. Okay. And, and last comment is yeah. I like the uh, the eyelids. They're sort of translucent there. And, uh, the original headlights did not shine very good. I can imagine. <laughs> so I, I upgraded that uh, so I could drive at night. <laughs> okay. And this looks like an interesting upgrade too. Yeah, because in my photo, any international, you see they had a pocket. Yeah, and they every one of them is rusted away yeah. because it collects dirt and gravel. And, now I seem so. to remember these in the era, but they were a little. I have the original. Yeah, they were they were a good three inches wide. Yeah, I mean they were chunky. Again, there. though, the wiring was so bad. Again, I kept them, but no, it's the, wire, the wiring them, was so bad. I just uh, I had to go this way. That's good for making yeah. shows and stuff. It probably shows nice too at dusk when you turn the lights on. Yeah, or... you can. It lights the, lights the cab pretty good actually. <laughs> yeah, I never thought of that. Because it shines both ways. Uh, yeah, the, uh, but they used to be like red in the back, yeah. amber in the front. Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I This is what I could find. So no, but that's uh, this is great. Yeah. You know. Anyhow, I sorry you took me down memory lane with this because it I don't know uh, loved it uh, loved international. And, uh, I want to thank thank you for taking the time with us to walk through there. I'm going to grab a hand sure, there. No problem. Thanks for for bringing it out and showing it and yeah. God enjoy this every time you uh, you bring it out. You know. Thank you. Okay. Stay with us. We got more coming right here, Mantino, 2024. Okay, this is the, the night for, for Ford trucks because we're finding some awesome ones, especially some stake beds. This 41 Ford is no exception. What I kind of liked about it right away is that it was Ford through and through. It had a Ford power plant in it with a 302. We got the owner right here in your name. Hi, Marty Martin. Okay, you were saying a little bit off camera where this car was truck originated from and uh, the condition it was in. Take it from there. Okay. When I got this, it was sitting in a field for at least 15 years. Wow. And the bottom 
was all rotted out of the floor, the side, the, uh, the doors, about the last six inches of the bottom was all gone. Oh uh, that was dented and the frame was totally shot. So what I did was I got a, it's a 42 Ford pickup chassis that already had the frame for the flatbed on it okay. from a buddy of mine. And uh, so I swapped out all the stuff, went through all the, the sheet metal, and I bought new floor pans for it, new patch panels for the whole bottom. Okay. And then I went through and cleaned all the fenders up, did all, knocked all the big dents out of it. Well, you know, it was a farm truck. Sure, and it's going to So be, it had, it had it wear work. on it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I did all that, then I went through and did all the body work. And originally it had, uh, the flat had V8 in it. Okay. And I re had that rebuilt, but it was like in and out of the truck so often that it got to the point where I said, forget it. Okay. And I bought a 302 little Mustang motor. Okay. Put that in there and it's been in there ever since. I was going to say, it's probably, I don't know how many events you make and cruise nights, but it's probably easier to get around with that 302 in there. Oh, yeah. A little reliable in it. Yeah, it starts right up. I mean, it don't have power steering in it, but okay. it's, 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 I got it. steers, I have... steers pretty easy with that IFS for front suspension on it. Okay, yeah. Okay, the ratio when you go to the yeah. corner? Okay. Uh, a couple of things. Uh, the, uh, I like what you did with the back panel and the taillights. I'm trying to figure out where those taillights came from. Oh, <clears throat> it's probably around the 1980 Pontiac. Okay, like Tail a... lights, like a Firebird. Somebody said it was a Firebird. Somebody said it was a, a Bonneville. Uh, a, a, a Granville or a <clears throat> GM? Or, yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too, now that you mentioned that era. And then the, the bumpers, they're actually a reverse of a 55 Ford pickup. Okay. That's the front bumper on the okay. back, and the back right. bumper is on the front because of the width. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Then on and the side boxes there, there's the two side boxes. Okay, yeah, for your and that accessory, your car. It's about a 10 by 10 area that goes all the way through, okay. from side to side. I put bag chairs and stuff in there, and then I got my antifreeze and oh, all yeah. my other stuff that you might need. I didn't notice under the hood, but is the is the battery up front? Mm, no, the battery's actually in the back box on the right side. Okay, wasn't the passenger sure, but side. I, yeah. yeah. And uh, uh, what'd you do for the fuel tank? Fuel tank is between the fr frame rail okay. underneath the bed. And yeah. if you can see the, the lid over on the yeah, right side on, there, on that's the, the fuel. Right side. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Then I got my little back off mud flaps on there for the, the kids like those. Yeah. And you know what caught my eye too as I was walking by is the, ca the Eagle cab lights on the roof. Those, I've never, where did you find those? Those are. Okay, well that's, I was gonna have mine reconditioned. Okay, yeah. Rechromed and everything, sure. but the guy wanted so much money for them. Then I was looking online in the truckers magazines. Okay. For the semis, the big over yeah, the road. The, and those guys really light yeah. them up, some of them. Yeah. So I happened to find those and I ordered them. They're, they're only like 40 bucks, I think, for the pair. So, <laughs> yeah. and, they, and they they look cool. They're and they they fit the arc of the cab really well too. Yeah, well they're and actually they, they made they made them for all the cabs of the trucks and stuff. So, okay. So okay. they have to conform to that slope. Okay. But, uh, but it, I, I went by and I looked and I looked again. I thought, wow, those are awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Then I thought, well maybe he did something custom. And I thought when I saw you sitting here, I says I got to talk to this guy. You know, he's wow. Yeah. So. Anyhow, listen, thank you so much for stepping up. I know I, you don't know us from Adam. We walked up cold, but you have such a nice truck. I uh, wanted to find out more about it. So, okay, thank you. Uh, thanks for bringing it out, and it was a pleasure to talk to you. Oh, thanks. Nice talking to you, too. Okay. Yeah. Enjoy the rest of the show. Yes. I'm going to do some shooting. I don't want to talk as my voice. Yeah. Okay, as we're walking around, Dave, the owner of AC Variety, and myself were wondering, this is a great event. How did it get put together? And we were just lucky enough to find the organization table and this gentleman here in your name. My name is Rich Pollock. Rich, tell me about this place. Oh, okay, so um, 
you know, we moved here about, I think about 22 years ago. Okay. And there was, we got one of the best car builders in the, in the country right here, Rad Rides by Troy, but there was nothing car related in the town. Okay. So I says, you gotta do something. I'm a car guy and you know, so, so my cousin Dave here, he goes to all the cruise nights and car shows around. And he's like, okay. why don't you start a cruise night? I'm like, yeah, it's a good idea. So freaking pitched it to the village and they're like, cool. Yeah, let's do it. Let's have it. You can have this parking lot wow. and that parking lot. And then years later, it's gotten so big to where they're like, okay, you can have the street and the two parking lots. And they're like, hey, I'm like, I need more. And they're like, you can have the next street. Wow. So we've been doing this for about, I think about 14 years, 14, 15 years, something like that. My hat's off to you. And obviously it's a win-win with the village it because is, yeah. uh, I, I took a break a little while ago and went and had some pizza. Every place is, there's a lot of people in there. Yeah, yeah. Sammy's, there's been, I mean, there's been a lot of pizza places in there, but whatever's in there it just gets packed yeah, with I mean, the ice cream stores like i mean you, you see everybody's example. walking around with an ice cream cone um but yeah it's uh the park you bring the kids go to that little park right there i was just it's gonna great. say it was my next thing i yeah. see families here i see grandpa and grandma yeah. the, the grandkids mom and dad i mean it's like what and it's, they're all yeah. car, the car the car culture is the common denominator it's huge yeah it is huge i mean you see everything from a a, a pretty new chevy to you know, a 1932 Ford right here. Right. It's it's all. Right. I mean, some cruise nights they do a. We don't have a whole lot of room. We got to do a 1990 and older. Right. They don't allow the new cars. We got the room. We can we, we yeah. can fill it in. And everybody. Sh I'm again. I, just from. I'm scanning right now. I'm seeing 50s and 40s pickup trucks. I'm seeing late model Mustangs. Yeah. Uh, so like it looked like I'm looking like an old Packard sedan over there, you know. Yeah, it, it is again, a huge diverse. variety. Yeah. yeah, we've got our regulars. I mean, which is good too because uh, it's, your, it's your staple group. Most of the cars on the back row, they're the regulars. Okay, they've been coming here for 15 years. Okay, so um, this Tony right here with the 32 Ford, he's been coming here forever. Okay, um, but actually, I've gotten a couple comments tonight. Really, there's a lot of new stuff here tonight. All right, and there is. I've seen, I've seen a lot of new stuff here. There's a uh, few guys from Crown Point. I was just going to uh, say, where are you drawn from? Uh, Crown, Obviously, Northwest Indiana, yeah, for sure. Crown Point to Beecher to Tinley, Kankakee is probably the, wow. the yeah. It's, it's you know, big. when you stop and think, Mantino is just the right spot on it, the map. It is, yeah. It's easy to get to. And, yeah, yeah. It, it's nice. It's a nice town. And yeah. and you have variety. You, you can eat. You know, other, other cruise nights, there's, sometimes there's nothing there. Yeah. So what you bring in your cooler is that's what you get. I can use Tinley. You mentioned Tinley. I'm going to use that for an example. They're every Tuesday night. They are. And they uh, they shut down or partially shut down a main thoroughfare. They do. And in this case, nothing's really shut down here. There really isn't. Yeah, I haven't gotten that full approval, but because well, I'd have I'd have to have more like workers because oh, yeah, so cause... I I partially block and just kind of tell the locals, hey car shows only right you know and i have a sign at each corner right some people ignore it just drive slow you know because yeah. there's everyone walking well, through look, the streets look at your foot traffic too yeah it's, the foot traffic which street. is what you want too yeah so. yeah and 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 i'll advertise it on the mantino illinois residents um facebook group mm -hmm. and half of them are coming out and then a lot of times um, i don't think it's happening tonight but uh Mantino schedules their uh, fire in the square where uh, they'll have like performance come out and they twirl the fire like okay, on like, sticks and stuff. Yeah, it's like yeah. a performance. And a lot of times they'll be on the same night as the cruise night. Okay, so again, you kind of come to this work off of each and then other. when it gets dark, all these people leave. You can walk over there, over there and go do a little uh, show over there. A couple of quick questions of uh, what month do you start each season and when do you wind up? We do, um, we do the third Tuesday in May through the first Tuesday in September. Okay. Uh, we used to start the first Tuesday in May, kind of and easy. there'd be times where it was 40 degrees. <laughs> <laughs> and he knows, because I was up in Canada at a school one time <laughs> for work, and he goes, I'm the only one here. I'm like, just and go home. <laughs> yeah, so I go, let's just move it to the third, uh, third Tuesday in May. Yeah. And then uh, we stop at the first Tuesday in September, just because the third, the third week in September is the Mantino Oktoberfest, where they put the carnival here. Oh yeah, that's all. So yeah, 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 so I'm I'm done. It's eight eight cruise nights a year, first and third Tuesdays. Um, but remember, it's only the first and third. Uh, July has five Tuesdays. We yeah, don't do it. We do not month. do it the fifth. 
Yeah. We're only the first and third. Okay. Yeah. And last thing I want to mention is uh, sponsorship to kind of help you out with. Oh that. yeah, absolutely. On our flyers, we have a list of all our sponsors. Okay. Uh, what I, I mean, I do it basic. I have eight cruise nights a year. They say, what can we do? You can buy one thing and you're a sponsor, or some people buy 50 things. Yeah. It's okay. what you can afford as a business. Yeah. Okay. Um, so that that's what I do. I do split the pot. Uh, the other half of the money, I just go out and buy uh, more car stuff to give away for the guys during the prizes. But uh, yeah, it's I just I keep it simple. You know, if you're a business that can only afford a couple things, yeah, that, that's fine. fine. And, and, I don't. And you're it doesn't participating, matter to me. You get your name out yeah, there. Yeah, you're, you're so. putting your name out there. That's fine. Yeah. Some some give a lot, some give a little. It doesn't matter. Whatever to me. you can do. Yeah, but whatever the, you can the do. The cause is what's. It is. Yeah. You know, right. Yeah. It's a good yeah. return. Yep. Anyhow, at this point, I'm going to grab a hand. Thank you, sir. Thank you so Thanks much for, for stepping up. Oh yeah, we're going to we're going to definitely do this again. Absolutely. Now that David Paninski that owns AC Variety lives out here. We're going to see us more often. Awesome. So. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Thank you for coming okay, out. Okay, you bet. We're going to take one more look around because we're losing the sun a little bit here. Yeah. But uh, fun going on even after the sun goes down right here in Piatone. Yeah. Mantino. Did I say Piatone? Yeah. <laughs> Cut that. You want me to do that over? <laughs> Thank you for correcting yeah, thank me. You. I am so sorry. No, that's all right. <laughs> Could have been worse, but dude, where the hell are you? Yeah. Okay, as we're walking around and we're losing a little bit of light because the sun, it looks like it's behind some clouds here, but I came by earlier and saw this 56 uh, Bel Air and it just blew me away. The color, the burgundy, the stainless that's on it. We're going to find out more about it from this gentleman in your name. Joe Perno. Joe, first of all, how long have you had this? Uh, I started with, uh, in 2006, I bought the car and it was nowhere near this close. Actually, inside the trunk, I've got a bunch of pictures you okay, can see if the, you'd like. From the early days. If from the uh, yeah. very early days. Okay. Um, was it originally a Midwestern car? I bought it out of actually Elk Grove Village. Oh, okay. So do I know where the car originally came from? No, but, uh, I, do. no yeah, I don't. Yeah. Um, I don't know where to start. Everything looks so good. First of all, uh, tell us a little bit about that power plant with the with the dual uh, Edelbrox on there. It's a 468 big block Chevy. I've got a big mother thumper cam in it, 10 and a quarter to one pistons. Wow. wow. Um, right. That's you, pretty much. Can you put trip. pump gas in here? Or? Yeah, I've, I run premium in it, but yeah. 93. Yeah. I'm working it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I've been pretty fortunate that way. I tried to keep it. It's got a. Muncie M22 Rock Crusher in it. Right. It's got a Ford 9-inch 350 Detroit Locker Posse in it. Okay. So, yes, it it does, uh, uh, it runs you, as good as it looks. You said 353, that tall of a gear on that? Uh, 350. 350, okay. That, okay. That's enough for cruising. It throws you back in the seat a little bit, but it doesn't, you're not screaming at right. exactly. big RPMs, uh, you know, doing 50 miles an hour either. So, you know. So, uh, I don't know, everything you've selected, the wheels, the, even the stance, the level of the car is just... I got two inch drop spindles in the front. Okay. I had a back end drop two inches, but then the car was too low, so the back stance is where it belongs. Okay, I, I kind of like where you got it right here. And the other thing I'm blown away with is that very authentic looking 56 interior. Yes, I had a guy pretty much match that, tried the black and the, um, the maroon style cloth right, that's right. in there. Um, he did a very nice job on it. Now, is that an authentic but a miniature type steering, steering wheel? wheel? Yes, it it's is... a 15 inch versus the 17. Yeah, which which is like it was like, too big. It, oh, it's gigantic. <laughs> gigantic. But then again, in that era, you needed all that wheel to turn a non-power steering. Yeah, you know. I, well, I've got rack and pinion in this thing. Okay. Okay. So it's got the discs on the front, drums on the back. Okay. How's that radiator, aluminum radiator with the fan set up, keeping, keeping you cool? Or? I don't even have to use it. Uh, really? that, that fluid dyne radiator is big enough to keep this car cool with just a flex fan. Okay. I've never really have to put that electric fan on. It's, it's, it's automatic it? and I have a switch that I kick yeah, it you on can if I were to need it. To. Okay. But I haven't needed it. I don't know why, but <laughs> you figure you would, but it, yeah. it gets enough air. Okay, and uh, I didn't look at the exhaust system out the back, but what, what kind of... I've got, uh, oh God, 40 series, uh, I can't even think of the name of the okay. mufflers, but Magnaflow's on there. Okay, Magnaflow, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's low resistance. 
Uh, last thing is, do, are you able to make uh, in season a lot of shows with this, or do you like cruise nights? Are I've you been going competitive shows. I've stuff? been fortunate enough. I've got six trophies with this car. Wow. As a matter of okay. fact, we were up at uh, Hot Rods, Hogs, and Heroes in Mantino a few weeks ago, and I, I did finish a top 25. Wow, my hat's off to you. Uh, and the last thing before I walk away, because that burgundy paint is just so, uh, was that a- I made that color. Thank you. At I was the time, ask, I was, I've never seen that before. Then I'm thinking, is it a GM color? Is it a, you know? It started out as an 03 Mitsubishi color. Okay. And then I added some pearls to it and oh. some black. And okay. I call it Mystic Burgundy Metallic because there is no name because I made it. Yeah. What caught me is earlier when I went by and I didn't get a chance to talk to you, but the sun was out. The sun on that paint is, it's awesome. You know? It's all the flip-flop and the pearl in it, yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. It just, you walk around it and it's just magic, you know, different angles. So, well, thank uh, you. Yeah. The other thing I'm, I'm, I'm glad you didn't, a lot of guys do, and I'm glad you didn't with this for some reason, but they'll go in sort of 50s-ish and they'll go in with a different color, you know, in here. You know what I mean? I thought about two-tone and, and in doing the, black, the, yeah, yeah. But actually my sister gave me pure hell when I told her I was going to do it. She says, you get, don't you screw that car up. So, so <laughs> All right, that's settled. Okay, right. Because I, uh, I, in fact, I was recently telling a friend, I can remember seeing pictures of cars from the 50s from the factory. They were actually three tone. Actually, the roof was one color, the trim color in between the stainless was another color, and then there was the primary color. Uh, Chrysler products in that Chrysler era. Chrysler products. They yeah, were doing that. Sure. It, the old DeSotos? The DeSotos. And stuff? Yeah. So. If there's something you want to see, we'll just show you what the car looked like. Yeah, there. let's take a look at it if we can get it on camera. This was, uh, there you go. I Yeah, I caught that, a little electric there. I like the original hubcap there on the Spirit. Uh, wow, take a look at this. So this is when you went to get it from uh, up at Elk Grove? Right there. Wow. You know, the, uh, I... Again, I can see the original colors with the two-tone and the blue and the... But there's yeah. something about your custom mixture of burgundy. It's It just says it all, you know. Well, so, thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah. It's a labor of love, that's for you, sure. And you can see it through and through. And the reason the first aid kit is there is I was at a show in Piatone, and I didn't get a trophy because I didn't have a first aid kit. Are you kidding? They had points for that? Yes. I mean, I had the fire extinguisher, Yeah. But they wouldn't give me the, any the trophy because I didn't have a first aid kit. And here I thought you were going to tell me you had a slight mishap where you cut no. your hand or something. No. And, you know. So I made sure that if I ever go back to Piatone, I'll yeah. get, get the first wow, aid that's, kit. Wow, that's good to know. And uh, last thing, before we walk away, anybody want to guess where you put the fuel in this car? You didn't modify that, right? No. But he's going to show you now. How's that? Fully functional? And uh, the original gas cap on there too. Look yes, at that chrome. It is. It yes. still is. It still is. I reckon, you know. Great. Listen, I'm going to grab a hand. Well, thank you. Thank you thank so you much, very much for stepping up and letting us see this car. No. And uh, we hope to see you again. All right. Thank okay. You. you bet. So, where's this going to be? Well, James, did you have a good time at the PHA? I had a night? great time, and I'm ready. I'm ready to come back uh, later on in the month. Well, I think you should come or back to Mantino. Which is yeah, <laughs> well, you guys had heard that. If he doesn't edit it out, I'm talking with the organizers <laughs> of this event, which is a great event, and I Mantino came out of my mouth instead of excuse me, Piatone came out of my <laughs> mouth instead of Mantino, and everybody looked at me like, uh, Jim, you're in Mantino. It's okay. This is new to <laughs> us. Just this like is ice a great, cream is new to me. This is a great village. The village of Mantino, top show. One of the best cruise nights I've seen in a very long time. Absolutely, I'm looking David. forward to coming back here with AC riding and seeing what else they have to offer on Main Street. But now, since I miss Lindy's Gerties, that is no longer in Oak Forest. This is a good place I must here. find this PJ's place. I heard they have great ice cream. Hey, well, why don't we go on an adventure and uh, in the meantime, check out our other videos because you've been hanging with Clem and Mantino, and I'll see you on TV. Hey, hey. Am I on it? Apps.
4th of July. We got our American Patriots right here. The Patriots. America. Which beer? 4th of Not July. America. Is it two more days? Be we careful with the fireworks, and we're going to be celebrating America this time. America's turned 248 years old. Be exact. Well, God That's bless right. America. That's right. God bless America. Stay safe out there. And Mantino. And Mantino is the, the number one place the, to be. Number one place to be for the car shows, anything. Yeah. September, I don't know. September, September 26th something. to uh, 29th. Octoberfest. Octoberfest. Be there. Well, you better be there. If we'll you see, see you. us. See TV. us. We'll see us on. Wait, we'll, yeah, we'll see you on TV. Bye. Have a good one. Thanks, guys. Stay safe on Fourth of July. Ironside. He's gonna use it. I'm lost somewhere. Oh, 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 o